Hi, my name is Joshua Myers. I'm a culinary student at Schenectady County Community College. Hi, and I'm Sue Wachowski. I'm a professor in the Department of Hotel Culinary Arts and Tourism, and these days I am teaching all baking and pastry classes. Today we're going to demonstrate how to make the perfect gluten-free muffins. Right here we have an ATK flour, which is a, stands for American Test Kitchen. Very great producers of all different kinds of flours and demonstrating how to make the perfect gluten-free products. Right here is just white rice flour, brown rice flour, uh, tapioca starch, and potato starch. It gives it a very great structure, and you know it just always provides one of the best baking experiences that I've ever had. Um, we usually mix it with xanthan gum and eggs, mostly as binders. You need a little bit more xanthan gum because there is no gluten development. Xanthan gum really pulls together and doesn't leave a gross taste like some others, like psyllium husk. We have maple syrup to give it a very good sweetness and also make it denser so you know it's not falling apart and it's gritty. Um, we also have baking powder to make it rise. We have butter as more of an emulsifier. We also can use yogurt and we can use uh, applesauce to make it sweeter and also to make it more moist. All right, so these, now we're gonna start mixing these ingredients to make gluten-free blueberry muffins. We're gonna take some of this AK, ATK flour, pour it out, we're gonna use some maple syrup, mix it all in there, about a cup's worth. We're gonna do xanthan gum, you're only gonna want a teaspoon. Don't do this, because this is not right. But you know, follow instructions, it's perfect to weigh, especially in baking, you wanna make sure you have the right amount. Uh, baking powder, we're going to do some salt, and we're going to go ahead and just mix it all in. You know, this like, we have to mix a long time, especially for gluten-free products, to create that air pocket that usually happens with gluten products. Um, usually five to ten minutes is what's going to give it that nice air fluff and make it a little bit bigger. Even though you have baking powder, it's just so dense that you just need to whip. And it's smoothing out really nicely. So we're back with the muffins and I just let them rest for around 30 minutes. You usually want to let any gluten-free product rest for 30 minutes to kind of let it set and release the graininess that's in there, the sugar, and let it dissolve. Um, we want to gently kind of fold in the blueberries to kind of give it that nice texture and make sure, you know, it's not turning completely purple, but it gives it a nice kind of marble color to it. It's going to be a nice kind of like fold. You want to be very gentle because blueberries are very delicate. But as you can see, the muffin batter has evened up. It's really nice and soft. It's turning into that nice liquid. The uh, sugar has gone down. The grittiness is no longer there. You're just going to get a really nice soft product out of this. And then you're going to scoop them, Josh? Yes, I am. All right. We take a little scoop here. We've got about eight cents. Mm -hmm. Just one for each. And they're going to rise really well with the baking powder that we have in there. So we put the uh, muffins in at 325 for about 30 to 45 minutes. This way, you know, we're going to get that nice golden brown color and it sits for a while. You want it to rise a lot. All right, it's been about 30 minutes and I just checked them, so they're perfect to come out now. Oh, they look beautiful. See how they kind of brown around the sides, but you know, they're not like typical other gluten-free. They don't have that just one color. They have that nice golden brown, very even, a slight cracking on the top to show that it's been rising, but it's also binding very well. We want to let it rest for less than 10 minutes, so when you pull it apart, it's not too hot and it doesn't fall apart. It kind of gives it that nice chewy texture that we're going to get with these muffins. So today, we made our gluten-free blueberry muffins. And it's really important for people to know that the trends these days are to create more and more gluten-free products for people who have celiac disease and other things, sensitivities to gluten. And I think it's also important that people know that certain baked items lend themselves to gluten-free very well. And muffins are a classic example of that, scones, quick breads, cookies, and cakes because all of those things require minimal gluten development to begin with in a regular product. So gluten-free is perfect for those items.